Hi, I'm Diana. I'm really excited that you're with me today to hear about the power of words. You know, the Bible says that the Word of God is life, health, joy, and peace to those that find it and healing to all your flesh. And that means to your circumstances, to your prosperity, to uh, family situations. The Word of God has the answers. You know, um, some time back, I was flying back from Canada, and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about the power of words. And I began to write down scripture after scripture on a throw-up bag uh, because I wanted something handy that I could just write on. That's the first thing I could find. And uh, I wanted just to share a few of those scriptures with you that the uh, Lord had given me because they are so powerful. Uh, one of them is Proverbs twelve fourteen, and it says, From the fruit of his lips, a man or a woman is filled with good things. You know what? You can talk it up today. You can begin talking about the things that you have in your heart that you want to experience, that you want to see, th uh, see changed. You know, good things. It said, as surely as the work of his hands. You know, so many people go to work every day, and at the end of uh, the two-week period or the month period, you're looking forward to the reward of your check so that you can... Uh, pay your bills and enjoy the life that God's given you to enjoy. Well, this scripture says that as much as the work of your hands, you can use the fruit of your lips, the things that you say to bring forth good things. In other words, your life can be increased by every word that you speak. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 12, 37, he said that by your words, you will be justified and by your words, you would be condemned. Well, just think of the choice that you have to speak words of life, words of health, words of favor, you know, to speak things that you're uh, desiring to come into your life. You have the power to bless yourself. And you know what we found is once you are blessed yourself, you can bless others. You know, um, a few years ago, I remember I was working on a job and there had been quite some time that there hadn't been raises within the organization. And it came that day that people had to go in to uh, see the vice president concerning uh, the raises that everyone was hoping for. Well, uh, one after one, people filed out of the vice president's office and they were downcast and sad and, you know, just mumbling and everything. But, you know, for quite some time as I drove to work every day, I would say, you know, the Word of God says, I'm Abraham's seed and I'm heir according to the promise, which is blessing I will be blessed and multiplied I will be multiplied. And I had that as my faith focus. And do you know what? It wasn't long after that I was called in. And guess what? I got a raise. I believe it came because of the fruit of my mouth, which I was confessing as I went into work each day. I didn't listen to the chatter. I didn't deny the circumstances that things were rough, but God showed favor on me because of the fruit of my lips. It brought good things to me just as the diligent work of my hands. And I know God has the same thing for you. So I want to encourage you today, make a decision like Jesus said, by your words, you'll be justified. It was the word and faith and the faithfulness of the Lord and his promises that brought that victory for me. And I believe he'll do the same for you. And I want to encourage you, if uh, you've been blessed by the message today, uh, forward it to your friends and family. And just talk, talk with each other about being aware of the words you speak so that you will live a more fruitful life. Thank you.